Hi, it's me. Today we are going to be watching this video about a gold digger that are just interested in money and high-end designer goods. Let's get started. Having a good time. Oh, baby. I'm so excited. I think I know what it is. For the first and final time, you see her smile. Furthermore, her appearance will be that of a grand assassin throughout the film. <laughs> you know how badly I've wanted this bag. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. Wait, what is this? Kate Spade? What gives you the right to deliver such a shabby bag? How dare you? I can't be caught wearing Kate Spade! I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. Louis Vuitton bag? Your mother must sell the kidney, John. Otherwise, her son will start masturbating once more. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. Just have some faith in me, please. Take John's word for it. If I were you, Bella, I'd purchase this simple purse. John, you allow your mother to offer the house for sale. <laughs> Whatever. That stupid idea of yours, it's never gonna take off. I won't be caught dead wearing a cheap bag like this. We need to save your son from his scamback mom. My son! Give me my son! I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay. So what do you feel like eating? Yes, where shall we eating? At McDonald's, perhaps? No. Is it possible to eat a sandwich in a pie branch? No! So I'm craving steak and wine. Mm. I was thinking maybe something a little less expensive. How about Denny's? Go to Denny's. Denny's? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You're gonna take me, a girl that looks like this, into Denny's for dinner? No, come on. Come on, please start. This combat has even shot your car. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> please, just... Have some faith in me. Stop acting like a loser. Such a loser. So I really hope nobody sees me in this crappy car. Do you truly want to view the crappy car? Oh, oh, God! Hey, babe. What is going on here? Bella, you're in for a pleasant surprise. I'm excited you're here. Oh, you were able to get the bag you wanted. Bella had been saving for this bag for a year. She put in work hours at night. Take a seat. So, babe, um, we've been together for almost a year now. Have you been dealing with this girl for a long time? Almost a year? One day with her is absolute agony. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I can't imagine my life without you. Your mother, on the other hand, has a pretty good sense of what life would be like without her. Give me my son! So, Bella, will you marry me? So oh, exciting! What is that? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That doesn't even look like a two-carat ring. It's so small! Your little sister put her two-dollar toy ring in the mouth, John. You were only a few steps away from becoming engaged. <laughs> I promise you, if you have some faith in me, once my business takes off, I will give you the stone of your dreams. Look, let's get one thing clear, okay? Your business is never gonna take off. And no, I am not going to marry you, and I'm not going to be caught wearing that tiny diamond on my finger. Why on earth will you marry John? Return to your mother. You won't have to worry about your finances. You will always be satisfied and protected. Oh, my baby! Oh, my baby! John, I've got a fantastic wife for you. She's always quiet, and doesn't need to stay with wife in Louis Vuitton bag. Estefan was right. You're never going to change. Estefan? Who's Estefan? Who hasn't heard of Estefan? On the express, he sells shady bags. He recently picked up Bella for this bag, by the way. 
Bella simply went into the bathroom for a minute to change into more seductive attire, and when she returns, Estefan will hand over the bag to another female. Your business is never going to take off. And no, I am not going to marry you. Bella, you're back on your own. Bella, I've chosen to introduce you to a very wealthy man. I need a real man who can satisfy my needs. I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> John, on the other hand, is doing great. She feels your gaze on you. You feel your best promise as soon as possible. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. We believe in you! Oh my god. John! Hey, Bella. Long time no see. Wow, you look amazing. Yes, of course. He has a rubber wife who lives with his mother. He seems unconserved. Yeah. Is that a Louis bag? Yeah. Picked up a little something. Estefan was introduced to John. He buys low cost fake bags for him, and he occasionally delivers it to his future wife. <laughs> I thought you didn't like Kate Spade. Oh, that's just for a friend. All the best bodies should be given this crappy bag. So. Is this your car? Yeah, just picked it up. Pretty nice, right? And you disgusted to lie, John. You borrowed this car for a few days in order to meet a lovely lady. You are sick of your happy wife? I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. Listen, I really can't stop thinking about you. You take a nap with only one man in your mind, my John. What about your new boyfriend? Stefan, the rich guy? Don't you know, John? Estefan has been busted with all that fraud. Oh, uh, let me introduce you, Bella. This is Rose, Rose Bella. John and Estefan went to the same high school. We used to date like years ago. Hey, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you had a new girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> actually it's fiance? John proposed a week ago. Isn't it amazing? This is the ring you gave Bella, John. Remember how your sister took his place? <laughs> <laughs> the ring on your little sister's finger is perfect for her. Are you ready to go? Um, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservations. Right, we wouldn't want you missing mm -hmm. the steak and wine. <laughs> what a shame. He once tried to poison you with the daddy's food. I don't understand. What does she have that I don't? With her baby, he manages to survive together on 1,000 bucks a month only. You see, when you would get mad at me for not being able to buy you a designer bag, Rose would get mad at me for buying her any bag at all. It's incredibly handy for Rose to stroll to the grocery with such a bag. The most important feature is that the handles don't detach. And when you would get upset at me when I couldn't buy you expensive dinners, Rose would get upset at me if I tried to take her out at all. She would cook me homemade meals so I could focus on my work. Rose has a habit of ordering from your favorite days. Denny's. She tosses everything into the pan, heats it up, and then delivers it to you as if she had prepared it herself. It's good seeing you, Bella. Like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. There's a lot of fun and craziness in store for you ahead.